happy friday it's friday the 12th of july and i thought i would take you guys through a weekly vlog week in the life of being nine weeks out so i'll be nine weeks out tomorrow then we're in the eight weeks out range which is fucking crazy i'm just having my bowl of oats now and i'm about to go to the gym i'm gonna be training legs today and then going to a cafe uh, my dad and i normally every friday because he works on his laptop like from home every friday we'll go to a cafe and get some work done and he's been away for um my dog just started squeaking he's been away for a few weeks like i literally left to go to australia start of Ju start of june came back a day after he left for europe and my stepmom so i haven't seen them in over a month it's weird anyways gonna go do that train legs i might film snippets of my session i don't really have a tripod for my camera so it's a little bit difficult but nonetheless i'm gonna take you through my week um normal day today just 15 30 calories or something like that 15 25 i don't know having my oats and yeah that's pretty much all i have to update you on i cannot believe we are going to la in two months what the frickety heck also i want to do a quick fit check whoa i look lean this is not your time. Fit is from Alpha where you can use my code Zara10 for 10% off. I'm really into blue lately. It's kind of got me feeling like, I don't know, either Superwoman vibes or like 4th of July. Shut it. 4th of July vibes. Let's go train legs. So just did a quick grocery top up so that I'd show you guys what I got. I got two salad mixes. I used this garden salad kit for my Caesar salads and then I use this tri-color coleslaw for my Asian salads so I'll be having that now. I have my tuna which I'm going to use now as well. Oh. oh yeah I forgot I had a bunch of coins. The coins here are crazy like they literally have one cent coins here. Let's see what we got because I still don't really know the American currency system honestly. We've got a quarter dollar so 25 cents. This is one cent. Like, who is using one cent in this economy? Another quarter, quarter, and then are these all one cents? That's fucking crazy. Like, who uses a cent? Anywho, this is just going to be... I don't know. What do you even use coins for nowadays? These were corn thins I already had. Then I also got some chow mein noodles that I use in my Asian salad. And then some yogurt. I normally use... Um, the Oikos yogurt, which is like America's version of Yopro, like literally the same branding and everything. It's just in a circle container. But I didn't have it, so I had to go for Dan and Fit and Light, which I like this yogurt. Josh doesn't for some reason. Then two avocados. So I'm going to make my Asian salad. And guys, I've done no work today and it's like 2 p.m. So i got to get a bit of a wriggle on so I can try to not work this weekend, even though I probably will anyway. For those who are interested, I'm going to show you how I make my Asian salad. So start off with coleslaw and I'm just going to open this bad boy up. I just love how it's like like small pieces of salad. I don't know. It's not like big leaves. I've been loving salads. I don't know why last year I never got onto salads, but this year salads are my thing. And it's so good because I get like my veg intake so easy. And they're so tasty and so much volume. I just don't know why 2023's are. I didn't have more salads. Next, we're going to have some tuna. It's just tuna and spring water. Grab a can opener because this one doesn't have a freaking thing to like open it, which I think silly. I think that's silly business. Why do we need can openers when we can just literally have that thing that just pops it? You know what I mean? This has literally been my go-to salad for weeks. I normally get, when I was in Australia, I love those Asian uh, noodle salad kits. Like, if you know, you know. And obviously here they don't have the same stuff. So I wanted to, like, replicate it. And this is what I've come up with. And it's so good. So I need 16 grams of chow mein noodles. These are actually pretty decent volume. So you can get quite a few little noodle guys. I'll do and next we need our Asian dressing which I use 30 grams of and it's the skinny girl ones so these have a ton of dressings that are really low in calorie that's where I get my uh, Caesar salad dressing from also oh shit use a little bit too much but she'll be right 
Then I like to give this a bit of a mix. Now, honestly, like this isn't as good as the Asian salad kit that you get from Woolies or Coles even have them, but like it's the next best alternative. And this salad altogether is only like 200 and something calories. So if you're in comp prep, definitely utilize salads and try and make them delicious. Like I can, I've also made like a uh, Mexican sort of salad before. I think I showed that on one of my um, what I eat in a day videos when I was back in Australia. So you could do that as well. Like there's salads, you can make salads however you want. And if you get the right dressings, cause like don't be fooled. Like there are so many dressings that are so high in calorie and fat and everything. So that's why I get the, uh, the skinny ones. All right, so now that that's all done, I'm going to, I have avocado from yesterday. So I have this little avocado holder thing. Anyway, so cute. I'm gonna have 35 grams of avocado. Top layer is always a little ranky danky. So I just scrape her off even though she's fine to eat, but I just prefer my fruits and veggies to not be brown. Like I know that there's some that like when it's brown, it's fine. Like for banana, for example, but I just, don't love it brown. Only thing I want brown is my boyfriend. And we do a little bit of salt. And that is my salad, folks. I'm gonna put all the groceries away and eat this, I'm so hungry. My abs are popping today though, that's crazy. I'm gonna give you a hack. If you have an espresso and you're in comp prep and you're like still having lattes, I found a hack for volume and like it's not revolutionary or anything but let me fill up first the water okay so put the water on and mainly i found this hack because i ran out of normally i use like the little shot of espresso like the shot pods or espresso pods but i ran out so then i had to do this so i used like the normal like so i think it's like seven ounces or something coffee and then I also froth the milk, so I'm basically having a black coffee with like milk. So it's like this huge latte. So I do that, press that, and then I also weigh out 215 ml of almond milk. Now, normally I like to use almond milk, which you may have seen me use in previous vlogs, but I have changed. This is probably really shit for you, but it's 30 calories. So when you get deeper into prep, Although I'm very big on food quality, also if having higher volume stuff is going to help me stay compliant, then it's like worth it, just like a few diet hacks. So like I'm saving calories on my almond milk, which allows me to eat actual food. Cause like, I don't want to drink my calories all the time, but I do really enjoy having a latte. So just like a little hack there, um, but I shake it up. It's also cheaper. One of those almond milks was like seven bucks. This is probably like three. And that's really how I make my latte. I also use, I have these two syrups. I have sugar-free vanilla and sugar-free caramel. I use sugar-free caramel, that tends to be my fave. And I do two pumps of that, pour in the frothed milk, and that's how I make my coffee. Uh, we got a document. All right, now where were you when you got this cut? I don't know, it just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Who gave you the cut? I don't know. Do we need to take legal action? Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Grover's like, I thought it was a cut. <laughs> Where were you on the morning of July 18th, 2023? July 18th, I was probably hanging out with you. Yeah. No, you were probably in Australia. Right? Not in July, I was here. Oh. Our, our two years next month, what have you got planned for me? Oh shit, bud. <laughs> I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten a shit planned. So what are we doing? I want to take you out for a big fat dinner. Are we doing gifts or no gifts? Up to you. Mm. Mm. Maybe a little baby gift. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Saturday. Officially nine weeks out from my show, which is crazy. I feel like that lighting is horrendous. That's better, but we are nine weeks out from today, which is crazy. Just made myself my coffee. Josh and I have, like to have like morning coffee time on the weekend because we're not like rushing off to work or anything, but we're going to a farmer's market this morning. So I thought I'd take you along. Then I've got 
an upper body day, which I might try and film some of that for you guys. And then, and then we're going to come back here and we're just going to do like a bit of a Sunday reset on a Saturday. We're going to do like 40 minutes of work, 20 minutes of cleaning and do that and maybe go rock climbing tonight. So that'd be a fun day to take you guys along. So yeah, nine weeks out, eight weeks till peak week, which is crazy. Can't really see you. The light's adjusting. Can't really see you. Morning coffee time. Get the baby dog. Shelby County. We're midway between Franklin and Shelby. I actually want to go there, you know. Okay, so we just went to the farmer's market and it was so cute. I got flowers. Josh, you got a little plant. We, we both got a plant, I guess. Um, Josh bought me flowers. Love that. I'm just dropped Josh off. As you can see, I'm not in my car. I'm in Josh's car. I dropped him off at a cafe so he can work on his medical school applications and I'm gonna go to the gym I'm training up a body I'm on a new training block this week so that's fun and fresh so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go stop at a servo to get a fun little drink because on weekends like normally Monday to Friday I'll wake up and I'll have my greens in the morning and make my normal pre-workout but on the weekends I really like to treat myself so instead of waking up and having my greens in the morning which I do enjoy my greens but it's a little bit more motivating to get out of bed when there's like a nice latte. Um, and then I'll sometimes treat myself to like an energy drink, like a pre-workout, like a C4 or something, because it is just, the carbonation's nice. And that's my little treat, because you got to treat yourself in prep sometimes. All right, pre-workout of choice today. We've got a C4 orange slice. It says there's zero anything but 10 calories, but that's fine. My little weekend treat. I did hit a new low weigh-in yesterday. Didn't today, but also yesterday I did the stepper and legs, so to be expected. I didn't not want to train. I don't want to try. Like I don't love training weekends. Like I'm never motivated on weekends because I'm just tired from the week. But I also one like I take two rest days Wednesday and Thursday because they're my biggest client days where I do client check-ins and client calls. So I'd rather just have more of that day free, or well, those two days free. But also on the weekends, I feel like if I didn't do my sessions, I'd be bored and I'd be thinking more about food and just bored and hungry and tired. So. currently Monday the 15th of July I competed a year ago today which is crazy anyways I'm just on my way to the gym I need to go train I'm gonna train up a body and then I'm gonna do cardio and then I need to get oil for my car because I've neglected it and my car is probably not very happy I also need to clean my car I've been putting off cleaning my car and I just yeah I just need to freaking do it happy Monday hope you guys are enjoying the vlog I didn't film anything yesterday I think I'm just starting to get to that tired stage of prep which is annoying but it is what it is so yeah let's get on 
with our day. Don't know how much of today's workout I'll film. If I do film, it'll be on my phone. I'm trying to get back on my TikTok game. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me. I think it's just Zara Zolkos with two S's at the end. I feel so sad and clingy today. <laughs> I've run out of Nespresso pods and, ooh, and I'm such a cheap ass. So I'm like, I don't want to buy any more Nespresso pods this month. Not that I, I don't think I bought any. I bought some last month, but I put some instant coffee with some cold water, then I had some boiling water and my froth milk, and now it's time to get to work because it is 1 p.m. and I've done nothing. So Mondays for me are very much like my CEO day for work. So I have a meeting at 7 a.m. with my assistant coach, Jess. Then I'm going to do a bit of like content planning, creation, that sort of stuff as well as just work on projects and then at 5 p.m. I have my weekly team meeting with Jess and my assistant Ireland and then at 6 p.m. I have my one-on-one -on -one with Ireland so so exciting it's crazy to think that we are in the process of building a team it's really fucking scary and it's a lot of investment into my business it's gonna be so worth it in the long run so anyways I do have a lot of messages to reply to and everything so I'm gonna get a little bit of a wriggle on and I'll take you through as much as I can the simple things you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try I used to wonder oh my gosh I don't know if I gave a prep update because I sent my check-in to my coach yesterday I'm just gonna place you I sent a check-in to Dan yesterday and we are like four to five weeks ahead of schedule which is crazy but again this week he has given me one high carb day so I'm just putting my Fitbit on charge because I would hate to get to finishing work and ready to like finish my steps for the day and like not be able to do it so trap up and yeah he gave me another high carb day which is so cool because this is not what happened last year. Last year, I really had to grind it out. I got, every time I got a high carb day, it was three high days in a row. And then it'd be followed by a nasty calorie drop. This time, I just, I get one because I'm ahead of time. So I do have a high carb day today. And I honestly, I feel like I've been brought back to life. I've been really struggling with my energy levels. And I think it's, I don't. Obviously, yes, being in a caloric deficit is going to have that impact, but also I think just when you get to this level of body fat, there's just not a lot there. So I I don't know the logic behind it, but anyways, I'm just assuming it's because of the level of body fat I'm at, which is not where I like to be. But um, I've been really struggling with my energy levels, and I felt like a bit of a slob, and I'm very unmotivated, tired, all the things, but I feel really good today, so... Hopefully that carries on. I'm also in my follicular phase of my cycle, so I'm sure that's having an effect. I'm just getting to work. I've planned my content for the week. I've also planned all my YouTube videos for the next few weeks as well. So you get some good content coming out um, that aren't just vlogs, because I know vlogs, like, they're fun and stuff, but I want to give you guys some, like, actual good stuff that could help you. But I planned all the way up to my show day vlog. Which is only, it's so, so soon. What made me go like, holy shit, it's so close, is every um, three weeks I have a one-on-one -on -one call with my business mentor, which I had one this morning. And we always book our next call in for the next whatever. And the next call we have is in the start of August. And like at that point, I'm basically a month out. It's just weird. It's going so fast. And like, even though I'm like five weeks ahead of where I was last year, part of me is still like, shit, you're not gonna be ready in time. Interest, like, it's really interesting to now be in a position where I'm actually ahead of the game in comp prep and I'm not on povo macros or any of that because it's given me like a new perspective. Because I was like, oh, people are so lucky if they can eat, still eat carbs and like eat above a thousand calories. Like, I always, I never got below a thousand calories actually, but. I always looked at those people and I was like, they must have it so easy. Like comp prep must just be a breeze. If their weight is dropping easily, if they're not, you know, if they're still eating a, over a hundred gram of carb, like they would be having a jolly good time. And although yes, it does feel a lot better to be in this position, there is still the doubt of if I'm gonna be ready in time and I'm still struggling with hunger and energy, which is interesting because going into this once I noticed, hey, my, I'm in a really good position, like the best position I've been in prep, it's gonna be easy. This past week has shown me that it's not easy. No matter what calories you're on, no matter 
whether you're ready five weeks ahead of time or you're racing towards the finish line, you still have doubt and you still feel hungry and tired. And I think that's just something that is unavoidable. So anyways, I've been yapping on for a while. I'm gonna go get to my work and I will chat to you all later. But now I'm left with no more tears to cry. I know that life can be busy, love. But you make Look at the house husband doing his chores. This is because some certain little lady doesn't clean up and I have to. That's not true. I know, but I'm just saying that for the camera. Happy Wednesday, YouTube. I'm sorry I didn't film anything yesterday, really. I don't think I filmed anything. Tuesdays are normally like my short form content days, I've decided, where I just get a bunch of content for like TikTok and all that. So I'm trying to get back on my TikTok game. So go follow me, Zara Zolkos with two S's on the end of my last name. Today is not interesting. I never know like what to record for you guys because I'm like, I sit down all day and I train and I eat and I work. Right now I'm off to do client check-ins. Calls, programs, big client day. I'm gonna be sitting down basically until like 8 p.m. <laughs> for the next 10 hours or so, we'll see. But then I'll do a walk after. I made it this far, thank you for tuning in. I've got some good videos coming out for you guys within the next few weeks as well. Good morning vlog, it is currently Thursday and I have been not slack with filming. I just had have I have had nothing to film. Today's a little bit more exciting. Actually, it's really not. It's a Thursday, so it's a big client day. I have client check-ins and all of that sort of jazz. But I'm going to my dad's because every normally every Friday we do like a cafe work sesh because he also works from home. But Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, which I can probably take you guys to. So we have moved it to be today, so I'm going to go over there. We're going to go to a cafe, get some work done, and then I'm going to come back and do cardio. It's a rest day from the gym, as Wednesdays and Thursdays are my busiest work days. I usually take Thursdays and Wednesdays off the gym and just do cardio, so I've got to do cardio. And then I have so many calls this afternoon that I'm going to have myself up for. Guys, I just registered for my show! Crazy! Also, I feel so broke now, but no backing out now. She's in. We're registered. Let's freaking go. For the ones you love, it's only right, it's what I deserve. Love. Tell me what you done for me. Done for me. Done for me. Good morning, vlog. Happy Friday. This is gonna be the last day of the vlog, and we've got an exciting day, sort of. I am just about to take the boys out for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk on the treadmill myself, do a bit of work. Me and my hair freshened up, which it needs it. It is looking a bit funny. And then I'm doing a surprise date for Josh tonight. So I'm gonna do homemade pizzas, which I've already tracked in. So I'm so excited to have a pizza, especially on like 1500 Kyle's. Like I, I did well, but I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna get like a little game and then watch a movie so I'm so excited um because we haven't had a date night in a while and I just want to surprise him and do something for him but these boys need to be taking OUT so happy Friday Lately, did you mind okay so my hair is done I feel so like glamorous I feel like the lighting's not really showing it that well let me move the camera I feel like the lighting's just not doing it justice, but that's okay. I'm going to close off this vlog here, though. Um, not too much exciting for the rest of the day, except for the surprise date I'm doing for Josh. But I think I'm going to film that for my TikTok, so I might add, like, a little snippet on the end of this video. Just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this weekly vlog. I can't believe we are eight weeks out. Eight weeks out tomorrow, which is crazy, but I appreciate you guys for being along for the ride. And I'm proud of myself for making this far and not dropping the YouTube thing. I had some doubts maybe like a week or two ago. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to support my journey. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye. I'm planning a surprise date night for my boyfriend, so come with me while I grab all the supplies I need for it. I got stuff for us to do homemade pizzas as well as a little game but he won't be free until 7 30 p.m so we've got plenty of time to set up for it get everything up i wrote down what i'm having on my pizza and then i'm going to put our friends away i'm going to get a box and make it a no phone date so that we can spend quality time together. We're gonna make pizzas first. We've got the pizza station. 
Then while the pizzas are being baked, we are going to play that couple's card game and then do painting and watch a movie. So, little fun date night idea.